And here's where I was going to go with that. And this is kind of where all the devices are heading, not just uh, Tesla. But um, Tesla just launched Grok um, for, for the Tesla cars. It's only in the newer models, too. Like, you got to have a, an AMD chip to get it because it, it requires a lot of CPU power, right, or a certain amount of CPU yeah. power. Point being, though, is right right now it's purely conversational. You can only interact uh, with with the car by asking questions. Uh, it's, it's really nice, right, because, you know, how many times are you at a stoplight and, and you want to quickly Google something or you open up the browser on the Tesla because it's got a built-in browser, but you can't you know, really just, just fully drive it. In there. It's, just, it's just nice. You know, you have a quick question, you can ask it. Uh, no, where, where, where that's going, and this is also where where this is going, right? Um, eventually, the LLM model will replace the the voice assistant in the car. So now wow. you can interact with the car in 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 just more contextual ways, right? It'll understand what you're saying.